let's start. Uh, what is E4? Uh, E4 is an Italian company uh, with, with a strong uh, um, internalization willing, uh, mostly in the last three years. Um, E4 was born in uh, uh, 2002, almost 20 years ago. And uh, during the world history of uh, E4, we, we bet a lot, uh, we invest uh, on our skills uh, to try and to test something new almost every year. As you can see uh, on these brief timelines, uh, uh, we were one of the first company to work on GPU on a professional way uh, when all the GPUs were only uh, devices for gamers. So we started there our innovation path and innovation process. Uh, going over the years uh, in 2016 and 2017, uh, we made one of our uh, major projects, uh, also mentioned in uh, one of our speech before uh, in Chineca, we, we implemented the Davide cluster, which has also been ranked uh, in uh, in some <clears throat> ranking for, uh, for HPC. So until 2018, uh, HPC was our only or even the most uh, important topic uh, to work on. But on 2018, uh, we decided to, um, to, to extend, to amplify our portfolio, uh, including some other trending topics like uh, uh, analytics on, on big data and artificial intelligence and machine learning. I'll better explain later. And in 2019, we also uh, totally rebuilt our internal factory to create new solution. Uh, in the beginning of this year, after the 2020 uh, has been a, a kind of crazy year for everyone. In 2021, uh, we started our internalization effectively, uh, opening a branch office in, uh, in Germany, in Deutschland, Munich, uh, to, uh, to follow on better some European project uh, like the EURHPC or uh, the European Processor Initiative. Uh, I, I talk uh, briefly later about this, uh, and uh, we started to expand uh, even outside Italy. Uh, so, a few steps back, uh, what we did uh, in uh, 2018 and later. For almost 15 years, uh, the E4 approach uh, has always been a tailor-made approach. So, for any new customer, any new potential project, uh, we started with a traditional approach. Studying that case and creating a single shot, a single one solution for the specific customer. Uh, this is a quite good approach, but it's not scalable. and uh, uh, with this approach, uh, we cannot, uh, um, let me say, we cannot spread, we cannot stream our technology to the highest number of customers possible because uh, uh, they are not replicable. And uh, they, uh, this kind of approach doesn't allow us to, to pursue our target to make uh, even the complex technologies as much simple as possible. So we pass through a, a, a short period of a pure agile approach. Then we define our own approach. We name it industrialization of innovation. Uh, we'll be clearer later uh, when I show you the portfolio of, of, uh, of our solution. And uh, um, we, we do a continue activities of scouting and looking for interesting project into the open source landscape. So we are combining both the software and, and hardware skill based on HPC experience. Uh, we integrate them to create a ready to use solution available in some uh, uh, pre-configured and predefined uh, size and features. So over the year, E4 has changed from being a, a purely hardware integrator to be a solution vendor. And uh, we, we follow uh, some golden rules uh, doing this process. Like, as I already said, we want to make this kind of technology for, for HPC, for cloud computing, uh, for containerization, even on Kubernetes. Uh, we want to make them as much simple as possible. All the solutions are supported by, uh, by subscription, so by the technical um, services, by our technical department, and all the solutions born uh, uh, for production environment. So they must be always on, they must be flexible, and uh, all the services provided by this infrastructure can be accessible almost for, from everywhere. Uh, so with this uh, uh, this long story, with this extended story, E4 has uh, uh, incorporated in itself a lot of different skills. Uh, this is just a picture, of course, uh, I'm available for any kind of uh, 
um, deeper discussion later with, with anyone who could be interested. Uh, today, our skills portfolio include both some traditional technologies like uh, systems and storage area with some of the most well-known uh, brand in the market, uh, going up to uh, the most innovative area uh, with the open source software uh, for the automation, uh, for HPC class management, uh, and even there, of course, of uh, uh, GPU and parallel computing. As I said in the beginning, uh, our uh, internalization plan start uh, in 2021 with the German office, but we are we are active uh, uh, in the in the European context since uh, at least 2013. Uh, we uh, we are part right now of several different uh, um, European projects. Most of them are uh, HPC related, and the probably the most interesting things about this project we uh, we are always the rookie inside this project because uh, our um, group uh, and uh, and um, joint venture by big players, and we, we've been invited there just for our skills. And within this project, uh, any of this logo you can see here um, has been born with a specific uh, business uh, target. So within, uh, within this project, uh, we are able to see the real needs of the customer. Uh, we are working right now, of course, in the university, which is still our uh, main market, but within uh, um, the last three years, uh, we work a lot uh, even on automotive, uh, on pharma, on uh, banking and finance, and so on. Uh, I need to, uh, to make a mention to one of our main customers, uh, which is CERN, and together with uh, INFN, which is the Italian Institution of Nuclear and Physics Research. Uh, since 2005, we provide a lot of system to CERN, and uh, we help them to build the LHC um, experiment uh, within their infrastructure for, for of course, a, a scientific purpose. So today, E4 um, is composed by three main areas, three three souls, we can say. Uh, the first one, of course, it's our it's our basement. It's the area where we do uh, the, the most part of our activities, and it's related to HPC and hardware based on a 20-year experience. And it's now completed by the two new area, the one with the open source software to give the customer all the freedom to customize and to integrate uh, its own infrastructure. We provide the solution, we support the solution, but we don't want to introduce any kind of looking uh, to the customer. The customer must be always free to interrupt the service, to interrupt the support to us, uh, and continue to use uh, the technology and the infrastructure. This is the only way to have uh, uh, um, a satisfaction, mutual relation with the customer. And the third one is more focused on uh, uh, the analytics and all the value that can be extracted and can be uh, deducted by data using the right technology. So today, our portfolio is composed by uh, this solution uh, of course, uh, uh, due to the, uh, to the short time slot, uh, I cannot explain all the portfolio, but as I said, I'm available to, to talk deeper with anyone who is interested. Um, just a few words on Medusa, which is our historical solution, the HPC cluster that now has been uh, totally re-engineered based on container. And skipping to the left, uh, I, I'll spend some more words uh, on Gaia, which is our appliance uh, uh, for artificial intelligence, <clears throat> which can uh, um, we, which can enable the data scientists to start to do their working without the presence of uh, a code developer or even a system administrator. Let's see later. All the solution uh, are supported, are of course provided to the customer into us. We, we are not cloud provider, so we, we don't uh, um, supply any kind of services from our data center except for uh, for demos and POC, uh, but we are the enable for the customer. So we provide the whole solution from hardware to software to, to services. And of course, uh, any solution can be integrated each other and can be expanded to, um, to, to, to the top level of the solution itself. Uh, so um, talking about Gaia, uh, Gaia is an appliance, uh, is, a, is a multi GPU in a box, uh, and uh, in the process of uh, 
simplification and to make uh, to, uh, to decrease uh, the step uh, to access this kind of uh, tools uh, we define some uh, uh, default configuration for Gaia so Gaia today is available in three different flavor is available in silver gold and platinum starting from uh, four GPUs uh, Nvidia GPUs uh, including the machine up to 16 for for the bigger size of uh, of Gaia and the data scientists just have to log in into the to the infrastructure. Uh, so the the aim, the main purpose of Gaia is to um, speed up all the tasks and all the activities that a data scientist usually face before to start uh, his own work. Because the data scientist um, usually have a, uh, uh, let me say a, a scientific uh, background. Uh, he's probably a mathematician or a physicist. He doesn't have usually uh, an, an IT or an informatic background. So just to start his own work, the data scientist usually have to, to ask for support from IT department. With Gaia, the data scientist can start to do his own job without this kind of support. Because uh, all, uh, all the preparation of the infrastructure has been already done by us, and the data scientist can be focused only on algorithm and working on data. Of course, with, with this skill uh, on the specific uh, data domain. Um, <clears throat> as all the other solution, uh, Gaia is built in a, in a modular way, uh, is of course other and software solution, but uh, uh, can be also, um, let me say, um, unbuilt or can be uh, divided only for the other side or the software side. What does it mean? Um, if the customer and, and some customer during last year already acquired a lot of hardware even equipped with gpus so in this scenario the customer can acquire only the software stack of gaia which is named e4 analytics studio and of course in the um in, in the preliminary phase in the assessment phase uh, we we do a check uh, if the already existing infrast infrastructure uh, fits the needs of the software stack on the other way some other customers uh, have already uh, developed and prepared their own software environment, but they are not satisfied by the performance they are uh, receiving by their own application. So studying the software stack the customer is using, we can provide only the, the bare other solution uh, to put on the under layer of the data stacks analytics. And sorry, a little switch back uh, and of course as it's uh, easily understandable as the software stack of Gaia the e4 analytics studio can be deployed even on more complex infrastructure than a single appliance uh, can be of course deployed uh, even to captain captain it's our solution uh, was present in the in the big picture is our solution on containers and kubernetes it's a it's a full cluster to orchestrate huge amount of containers and over Captain, if for Analytics Studio can be deployed to start with a, with a bigger infrastructure dedicated to artificial intelligence and machine learning tasks. Uh, so this is the, the first approach to, to Gaia. So uh, as I said before, the data scientist doesn't need to, to ask for support from a code developer or a system administrator, because when the Gaia is in place, the data scientist just have to log in uh, into the solution is accessible uh, with, a, with a normal web browser or even via a command line interface. And uh, of course, the, the whole environment of Gaia uh, has been created for professional and production purposes. So it's a, a, every component inside Gaia is for multi-users and multi-tenancy. So all the data present in the appliance can be segregated and divided by different departments, different scientists, or even different customers. So after the login, uh, the data scientist is uh, um, facing up uh, uh, this screen uh, where he can find, uh, uh, let me say at least today, 20, 22 different frameworks uh, already configured, already integrated. And as you can see uh, in, the, in the list of the screenshot, uh, uh, it's indicated uh, uh, both the version of uh, that uh, tool collection, and even if it's a collection ready for GPU and can get the better benefit uh, from GPU calculation instead of uh, of uh, CPU. 
So clicking on one of these uh, uh, ready to use framework, the data scientist just has to wait uh, uh, some minutes, two minutes, three minutes, uh, to wait for all the containers has been deployed within the appliance or even the infrastructure, and then he can start to work on uh, data science tool. Uh, data science tool, which of course have different target and uh, and different purposes. Uh, so this is a, a logical schema on how if for analytics studio has been created. There are several, um, let me say, background or behind the scene component like uh, the studio hub or the base environment for the solution itself. And then on the on the right of this picture, there are several different framework uh, to do almost any kind of task. Uh, if the data scientist that to work on uh, uh, algorithm for machine learning or uh, he have to train some neural network or to do uh, image recognition or something else, he just has to, to choose and to pick uh, the right uh, tool collection within the, the solution.